Hello YouTube, Captain Darren here. My call sign is N4VFR. Today I'll be looking at the QRM eliminator. I just received this one. It's right here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in on it. Uh, that's the QRM eliminator. I got that uh, from eBay and it was shipped all the way from China. So let me show you how I got it hooked up right now. On the back of the QRM eliminator, we have three SO239s. The one on the left is your main antenna. That's going to be my 05 antenna. The middle one is connected to your transceiver. And then the, the one on the right, the auxiliary antenna, that's going to be connected just to my wire antenna um, outside. It also requires a 13.8 volt DC power and that's uh, being fed from my power supply right there. Okay, one of the things you also need to make sure that you do connect is a uh, push to talk connection. So what I'm using is the RCA phono plug and that's plugged into the QRM eliminator. And on the Yaesu FT101, I have it connected to the transmit ground. It's in the uh, behind the radio. The technical specs on this QRM eliminator, we have a frequency range of 1.8 through 30 megahertz, and the maximum transmit power is 100 watts. This is how I'm going to connect my sensing antenna. I'm going to use my my pass through connection on this jumper cable right there. I'm going to connect that jumper cable to my uh, feed point for my dipole. Okay, if you look here closely, the center conductor it's on this side. So what I'm going to do is take half of my dipole and just use it right there and connect that. I'm not going to worry about the ground side the negative side because um, all I want to do is on the sensing antenna is to pick up the the power line noise or any kind of, of interference so I'll be able to phase it out to cancel it out using the QRM eliminator there it is only the center conductor is connected and that wire is it's going to, across the house. I passed it through the loops up here. The other window. And up and then back down. That's the end. And again, what I'm letting you know, this is just temporary. I just want to test it out and uh, see if this QRM eliminator actually works for me. You want to see power line noise? There it is at the oscilloscope. And let me turn the audio frequency, you actually can hear it. We're on 20 meters and it sounds like a, a raspy uh, hash noise, very raspy noise. So let's try to eliminate it with the QRM eliminator. All right, the process of doing this, you need to turn on the unit there. I have the phase to five, gain two to five, and gain one right now, it's a zero. I'm going to turn on the audio frequency. Right now, it's like desynthesized, so I will use gain one to adjust the gain so we hear maximum noise signal. I'm currently at seven. The S units is about S. S5, averaging S5. 
Okay, now I'm at max. At 10, the S units are about S5 to S6. All right, check this out. I'm going to turn on the audio frequency. Remember, gain 2 is my sensing antenna, so you can actually see it on the oscilloscope of the signal. It's maximum at 1. Gain 1 is my main antenna. So I'm going to maximize that white noise right about there and use the phase to try to cancel it out. Use the phase and the gain together. This, this could be a little tricky. I think that's how you do it. You see the oscilloscope? Let me turn the, it's already preamp one. Let me turn off the preamp. There's no attenuation, let me put back the preamp one. All right, uh, I think it's working. Now you can see that the power line noise is gone. It took a little time to get used to doing this. U miles might vary. It might be for you, or it might not. So let's go find and uh, find someone making a Q. So. Anyways, I won't keep it, but great to work you for the first time. And I can't believe we're working for 200 miles apart. That's that's great. KT4 RAM K5 RQ. Notice that the uh, power line noise is eliminated down here. All right, here's an example again. There's a QSO already going on, on 20 meters. Uh, QRM limiter is off, and I'll turn on the audio frequency so you can hear it. And then I'll turn on the QRM eliminator so you can see the difference. You see the difference? The power line noise are gone. Kilo Germany 4, whiskey for demo. I made a correction. Kilo Germany 4, uh, whiskey for demo. Thank you so much, and 73, uh, Scott. And the QRM now is turned off. You can see the power line noise. Now the QRM limiter is on again. Well, there it is, the QRM eliminator. It does work in my setup. Like I said, the antenna uh, is a 05 antenna. I'm picking up power line noise that you witnessed on my video and um, on the 05 27 foot antenna and the sensing antenna is just a uh, just a one of the uh, one side of a dipole I don't remember I think I got it tuned for 40 meters so I'm just using the center conductor and it picked up the uh, the RF interference and I was able to utilize that as a sensing antenna and make this little gadget the QRM eliminator work well 
If you like my videos, please consider to subscribe. My name is Captain Darren here in Jacksonville, Florida. My call sign, November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Have a great day. Till next time, 73s.